welcome to science easy tech channel in this video we are going to discuss about mental health care bill 2013 and basic rights of mentally ill patient which was taken from the unit legal issues in mental health nursing that is unit 14 from the subject mental health nursing this is my part c video already i have posted part a and part b which deals with admission procedures indian mental health act and discharge procedures respectively so this video will be useful for BSc nursing third year students as well as post basic BSc nursing. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to science easy tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. Mental health care bill. This bill was passed in the year 2013. So this bill, what is the key features of this bill is every person shall have the rights to assess mental health care and treatment from services run or funded by government. Like government general hospital, we are going for all uh, physical ailments or any physical diseases like that for psychological or mentally uh, ill problems or mental health issues also every person has the right to access the government uh, hospitals as well as uh, healthcare agencies which are funded by the government a mentally ill person shall have the right to make an advanced directive that states how he want to be treated for the illness during a mental health situation and who is nominated representative shall be okay so here the person a mentally ill person suppose if he is going to have episodes of uh, his mental health illness, exaggeration of his mental stage illness at that time or if he is going to suffer from any critical illness or um, any aggravation of his physical health or mental health that time how he has to be treated or how he has to be taken care or suppose if he has been expired uh, uh, due to the illness uh, how the last rise can be performed and who can be the guardian for him to take care of so everything in an advanced directive he can uh, he can tell so he is having that right next is every mental health establishment has to be registered with the relevant central or state mental health authority so if you are going to have any mental health institution or psychiatric hospital or a clinic anything know what you have to do you have to see whether the institution has been registered to the central government or state mental health authority Next is the Mental Health Review Commission will be quasi judicial body that will periodically review the use of and the procedure for making advanced directives and advise the government on protection of the rights of mentally ill person so here mentally ill person know they are having a um, so, so many issues with regard to their exploitation of human rights many and mentally ill people unethically they are involved in various research and all okay so to avoid these the government's responsibility is to protect their human rights as well as their safety and also what are all the regulations periodically it will revise the advanced directive procedures and all no so it will revise it periodically and it will be reviewing it and if at all any changes has to be there that also will be reviewed by what commission that is mental health health review commission a person who attempts suicide shall be presumed to be suffering from mental illness at that time and will not be punished under the indian penal code see suicide means the wantonly if you are doing it is a crime everyone knows it so what you have to see the suicide due to any depression or any mental illnesses that person is going to commit or attempt so that time it should be considered as mental illness and you should not punish the patient under the indian penal code law next is electroconversive therapy is allowed only with muscle relaxants and anesthesia because without giving anesthesia and without giving muscle relaxants if you are going to give directly electric electroconversive therapy you have so many side effects so the therapy uh, when you are giving you have to monitor the patient closely and also you should give 
before the thing itself uh, procedure itself you have to give anesthesia whenever you are giving anesthesia you have to give along with anesthesia muscle relaxants and continuously you have to monitor it and this ect therapy you should not give it for children below the age of 18 years that is minor children you should not give this ect therapy it is completely prohibited so let's see what are all the chapters which comes under this mental health care bill 2013 chapter 1 preliminary information or definitions or short titles like what is a psychiatric hospital who is a psychiatrist who is a psychiatric patient like that and all next is chapter 2 mental illness and capacity to make mental health care and treatment decisions this is more or less something related to advanced directive so what and all where and all he can get uh, treatment uh, like that and all he himself can decide the person uh, the patient himself can decide mental illness and capacity to make mental health care and treatment decisions then chapter 3 is advanced directive already i have explained about advanced directive and chapter 4 nominated representative so uh, he should have a representative whom he is nominating okay so you yeah, have to take care of the patient okay to look after the patient's property or a guardian whatever it may be like that next is chapter 5 rights of a person with mental illness so, if human rights is for all there is no rich or poor there is no one suffering from physical illness, mental illness, everyone are going to have the basic human rights that is applicable even for mentally ill patients. Then chapter 6 deals with duties of appropriate government. What is this appropriate government means? Duties of state government, duties of central government. So government means you have state government as well as central government. So what are all the duties of the state government with regard to mentally ill uh, uh, patients uh, taking care or mental health institutions uh, or uh, reviewing everything? And similarly that of the central government. Next is chapter 7. Central mental health authorities. So I have told two types of government is uh, working no, on uh, this uh, mental health illness. So what in chapter 7 what are all the central uh, mental health authority responsibilities everything they have given. And chapter 8 state mental health authority responsibilities they have given. And chapter 9 finance accounts and audit okay with regard to what with regard to mental health institutions psychiatric hospitals how much budget has to be allocated whether the budget has been utilized properly and uh, periodically they will be doing auditing and all okay next is chapter 10 mental health establishments establishment is suppose if you are going to start a new mental health uh, um, hospital or a psychiatric clinic what are the basic norms rules regulations uh, statutory instructions everything you have to follow that and all you have to consider before starting a mental health establishment chapter 11 mental health review commission already i have explained about mental health review commission in my previous slides um next chapter 12 admission of the patient and treatment how you have to give treatment and discharge of the patient and chapter 13 deals with responsibilities of other agencies other agencies can be not only state and central agencies other voluntary non-voluntary organizations and some other departments which are linked to this uh, uh, mentally ill patients uh, like uh, social workers so um, occupation therapists like this. so many agencies governmental agencies uh, uh, voluntary organizations and all no so everything uh, international agencies some um, who like that and all it can come okay chapter 14 restriction to discharge functions by professionals not covered by profession so only the professional person suppose if the patient has to be discharged only a psychiatrist should decide whether the patient is eligible for discharge or not so other general practitioners they cannot tell this the patient is eligible for discharge next is chapter 15 that is offenses and penalties so offenses and penalties means so any penalty suppose if any norms or regulations are not followed with regard to mental health institutions or any violation of basic rights of mental ill patients so what are all the offenses and what are all the punishments or penalties you have to pay it off next is chapter 16 deals with miscellaneous whatever the things which have not been covered in all these 15 chapters other some miscellaneous points will be there no that have been covered in chapter 16 so next we will see basic rights of mentally ill patients mostly we have discussed these rights also but let me uh, 
tell once again some of the rights of psychiatric patients are the right to wear their own clothes so in psychiatric hospital either they can wear hospital uniform or they have the right to wear their own clothes also so no problem then the right to have individual storage space for their private use so they can have a separate cupboard or a separate bedside locker whatever it may be so where they can keep their own uh, belongings and all so that uh, right is that the right to keep and use of their personal possessions so they can have a private space for keeping their clothes whatever it may be for keeping their cosmetics anything like that whatever there are things whatever they are having like their plate um, glass everything and the right to keep and use their own personal possessions suppose any ornaments anything okay so what they are buying uh, not necessarily gold i am talking about uh, any anything uh, so they can use it to offer okay the right to spend as some of their money for their own expenses suppose if they are having some pocket money so if they want to buy soaps or anything uh, or a powder or anything or if they want to eat something fruit something and all no they can spend their own money they can give the money to someone and ask them to get something for them uh, like snacks anything like that so for their own uh, purpose they can spend the money for their own expenses the right to have reasonable access to all communication media like telephone letter writing mailing everything okay so they can uh, they can uh, have suppose if letters are coming they can have access to the letters uh, suppose if any telephone relatives are calling means they can have uh, access to that communication media uh, writing uh, mailing uh, okay uh, writing letters everything uh, so the right to see visitors every day the right to see visitors every day they have a visiting our times so visitors are coming means they can see them the right to treatment in the least restricted setting in the least restricted setting means with the minimal restraints unless and until it is necessary if the patient becomes violent you can go for restraining otherwise no need no need of restraining so with the least restricted setting so they can they can wherever they want everything the hospital premises they can uh go and they can come back so uh, that is not necessary if mentally ill means they have to be tied like that and all it is not there okay so that thing you can take into consideration next to right to hold civil service status even they are also a basic human person in the community or in the society or in the country so they have that civil rights status as a citizen okay the right to refuse ect suppose if the patient is not willing for ect the person can tell that i am not willing to take ect very uh, thing they can refuse it without the patient consent you cannot uh, force the person to undergo ect the right to manage and dispose of property and execute wills so they also can um, perform according to their mental health psychological level they can also manage their property dispose their property and they can write a will also okay after their death the, the property should go for whom like that and all okay so my next video that is part d video will be on legal responsibilities of mentally ill patient hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos as well as videos related to intermediate science subjects thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel